Welcome to Sphere Finance. I am Price Time, and you're watching Sphere TV. In this video, I'm going to explain what Quantum Liquidity as a Service, or QLAAS, is and how it is incredibly beneficial to Sphere and its holders. Before we get started, if you end up enjoying the video and haven't already, subscribe. It helps support the channel, and by ringing the bell, you will automatically be notified when we create new content. Now that TetuSwap is Sphere's DEX, Quantum Liquidity can be initiated. Quantum Liquidity takes otherwise stagnant liquidity pool tokens and converts them into a vault that can be farmed in Tetu and other DeFi projects in order to passively increase the amount of USDC in the Sphere liquidity pool. This creates a constant and passive forced appreciation of the price of the Sphere token that is independent of trading volume. I covered quantum liquidity more in a previous video, but in a nutshell, even if everyone sold their Sphere tokens and no one bought or sold any more Sphere, the price of Sphere would still gradually increase over time thanks to quantum liquidity. As revolutionary as quantum liquidity is, Sphere has a habit of taking things one step further. This is where Quantum Liquidity as a Service, or QLAAS, comes into play to establish Sphere as an invaluable collaborative asset to all of DeFi. Essentially, Sphere Finance offers other projects Quantum Liquidity for a service fee. In exchange for this fee, Sphere will create a vault for that project's liquidity pair on TetuSwap and farm it giving that project the benefit of continuous trading volume independent liquidity growth. That new liquidity is of course then free to be used by those projects as they see fit. The projects benefit of course from the increase in liquidity. Sphere benefits in multiple ways. First, Sphere profits by raising capital from the service fees it is paid by these other projects. These tokens can then be used by Sphere in multiple ways. Sphere can hold these tokens if they are yield bearing, or Sphere can exchange all or some of them for alternative investments, including but certainly not limited to buying Sphere for deflationary burning and or buying more X Tetu in order to hold an even bigger share of Tetu to earn even more from Tetu's platform fees. Which now is a good time to mention that in order for a project to become a client of Quantum Liquidity as a service, they must move some or all of their liquidity to TetuSwap. This means that Sphere benefits tremendously from the swap fees of all these other projects and helps establish TetuSwap as the predominant decentralized exchange being the hub of all quantum liquidity. So that is all for quantum liquidity as a service. Just kidding, of course it does not end there. For an additional service fee, just like how Sphere can burn Sphere swap fees from TetuSwap, Sphere can also burn other projects trading fees in order to give those projects access to a trading volume dependent deflationary mechanism. Sphere Finance has already had numerous projects apply for quantum liquidity as a service. Not all projects are granted access to this service because Sphere wants clients who bring something safe and valuable to DeFi. Projects that apply must satisfy several standards including audits, KYC, investor protection, and anti-rug measures. In time, having quantum liquidity will become a standard for all reputable projects. It will simply because it must, thanks to quantum liquidity's efficiency, profitability, and unparalleled benefit to investors. I'll continue to post updates and informational videos about Sphere Finance, so be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out. If you have any questions about Sphere Finance, other people are probably wondering the same thing. Leave a comment below with your question, and we will do our best to help educate you and the community. After all, this video and channel is for educational purposes only and is not financial advice. Click the link on screen now to watch another video. Thanks for watching, and always remember that you matter for who you are.